It's July 16th, 2015. My name is Julia and nothing's gonna stop me from doing the news, not even this coffee stain. Damn you, coffee. But you're so delicious. <laughs> In VR news, Oculus is in the process of acquiring Pebble Interfaces. The Israeli company is one of the leading teams in depth sensing technology and computer vision. They will be joining the hardware engineering and computer visions team at Oculus. Basically, Pebble will allow Oculus headsets to be able to detect hand movements via custom optics, sensor systems, and algorithms. This will help take VR to the next level. The Wall Street Journal reports that the company was acquired for about $60 million. In cell phone news, last week Marshall teased a picture of what looked to be a smartphone. Today Marshall confirmed this by announcing the Marshall London. Hardware-wise, the phone isn't too spectacular. It has a 4.7-inch 720p IPS display, 16 gigs of storage with micro SD expansion, 2 gigs of RAM, Snapdragon 410 CPU, a removable 2500 milliamp hour battery, dual headphone jacks, dual front-facing speakers, dual mics, and runs Android Lollipop. The London obviously is meant more as a music device versus being a flagship killer. It's got a Wolfson audio chipset, a global equalizer, a four-channel recorder, and even a DJ app. The phone is priced around 585 US dollars and pre-orders are only available for Europe right now with an expected ship date of August 17th. What do you guys think of the London? Can its features and software make up for its somewhat lacking hardware? Leave a comment down below. And finally, in gaming news, a fix for Batman Arkham Knight on PC won't come out until September. Ugh. According to an EB Games internal email, which was leaked to Kotaku Australia, Warner Brothers and Rocksteady are working to address the issues with the PC version, but updates won't come until September. Does this mean I have to play on a console? Ugh. Time for Jiffy Snippets! Jack, that's a horrible name for quick bits. Snippy snippets, snippity snippets, snippy snippets. That's kind of hard to say. Google's buy buttons are coming to mobile search within the next few weeks. The new feature lets you order items directly through sponsored results on Google search. Waste management company Big Belly wants to turn 700 New York garbage cans into Wi-Fi hotspots. Last year, Big Belly tested out two cans equipped with Wi-Fi and it got around 50 to 75 megabits per second. An official Angry Birds sequel is coming out July 30th, so I guess all those other Angry Birds didn't really count as sequels. I guess it makes sense, sort of. Motorola has started to send out invites to an event on July 28th. The invite simply says, your relationship status is about to change. How mysterious and slightly creepy. Very creepy. Sources for all of today's stories can be found in the NCIX forum link down below. You know what they say, a frag a day keeps the doctor away. Speaking of fragging, you know who sometimes frags evildoers? Heroes. And guess what? July's Loot Crate theme is Heroes again. So let's check out what came with the July Loot Crate. First off, we have this Batman Q-Pop figure, a Star Trek air freshener, Legend of Zelda sweatband, a Batman multi-tool keychain, the League of Regrettable Superheroes book, one badass Wonder Woman poster. I'm taking this with me. A Brawlhalla download card, and finally the Loot Crate pin and the Loot Crate magazine. Cool! That's some pretty awesome stuff. So if you want your own Loot Crate, go to lootcrate.com slash NCIX to sign up. Plus use coupon code NCIX to get a 10% discount. Click here or in the link below for details. All right, that's it for Netlink Daily. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. This has been Julia with The Coffee Stain reporting live from the big blue wall.